So I'm trying to make a cyclonic dust separator out of a five gallon bucket and I've seen something on the internet that I kind of wanted to try uh, building a cyclonic dust separator. Bought some uh, Fosner bits from uh, Harbor Freight and uh, drafted this block up in Google SketchUp and then made a printout of this curb that would sit right here because this bucket is kind of odd shaped. The bottom is nine and seven eighths and the top is 11 and seven eighths. So it's got kind of a taper. So there's about a six degree taper on the cut. So it sits flush against the bucket. So now I will make a template where I can put the screw holes and this hole right here. So I just selected all these faces on the inside and copied and pasted it. Now I'll use a plugin called Flattery. So now I made a template that I can print out and cut out and put on the side of the bucket and then I can cut the hole out for the pipe. Then I can also know how far up and how far over to drill the wood screw holes. So now I will print this out. I go top view, zoom extents, make sure your camera's in parallel projection. Go to print. And if it comes out more than one page, you may need to go landscape rather than portrait. Hit print. So now it's only printing on one page. Make sure you have fit to page and use on a uh, model extents unchecked and your scale is one on the printout and in SketchUp it's one. Then hit okay to print it. I then made two printouts of this, one for the top side and one for the bottom side. And this is the top side because it's a small, little bit smaller. This is the bottom side. This is a two inch hole drilled into two by fours that I glued together with Gorilla Glue. I needed to cut this out and I didn't really have a saw to do it other than a hand coping saw, which would probably take quite a while to do that. So I bought a Harbor Freight nine inch bench top band saw and I've got it all set up. So I'm going to attempt to cut this out using the bandsaw. So I've got the table set at a six degree incline and I will see how this uh, works to cut out this uh, contour. So here's the odd shape, cut really nice and quickly. Mount this wood block to the side of the bucket with uh, glue and then also screws from the inside. And then mount a two inch PVC pipe in here and cut this oblong shape out. 
and then put one in the top. That fits perfectly on that bucket. There's a, uh, you know, it's nice and parallel, fits right up against that. And it's a perfect contour. And I did all of this in uh, Google SketchUp. You can see the contour fits right up against the side of the bucket on this. And then uh, could have gone a little farther on that side, but the pipe is like a three sixteenths of of an inch thick, so it'll go into here and stick in a little bit. So I sprayed the surface with some Super 77, and I'll we'll line this up right up against the very top of this, and I will take a sharpie and trace around this. So I'll take a sharpie and trace around the outside here so I know where the block will begin and end and where I can sand this so that the glue will stick to it. Well, I tried drilling this out with a Fosner bit, but it just gets stuck on the plastic. So I'll use a, uh, a razor blade. I can clean this up with a Dremel. So I cut out this top lip up here so that the block will fit right up against the top. So I have my wood block clamped and in place to the bucket. Then I have a countersinking bit. And I'll uh, drill a couple holes in there to secure this block of wood with a couple wood screws. Just make sure that you're not coming out the edge of your block, that you have enough material here. I'm using number eight by half inch wood screws with uh, countersunk heads. So you see there that I've got four bolts holding this in. Then I'll apply a layer of Gorilla Glue on here and clamp it down and let it sit. And I'll take a paintbrush and some water and paint this with some water so that the Gorilla Glue will activate. Now I'll take a, a multi-tool and a sanding bit and rough this up a little bit. Now I'll take some isopropyl alcohol and some uh, paper towels and clean this off so there's no oil or residue on here. So I've got a cup with a little bit of water in it and I'll take some Gorilla Glue and squirt it in there and stir it around with a stick with the water, and this will activate this Gorilla Glue. Spread this onto your surface of your bucket. You have maybe a five minute working time with this Gorilla Glue before it starts foaming up after it touches water. Now I'll mount this on there, put these screws in here. You can wipe off any excess Gorilla Glue. Taking some uh, long clamps and clamping it down until the Gorilla Glue sets. Let that set for about two hours. So it's been about two hours and allowed the uh, Gorilla Glue to dry and set up. So I inserted a two inch PVC pipe and I will draw around the outside here. So now I will cut the angle in this uh, PVC pipe. So I got it cut 
fairly close. So I'll round this off some more on a uh, belt sander. So it's ground down to the contour that you need it. So that fits in there. So I'll rough this section up on my belt sander and then I'll Gorilla Glue this in there. And I'll clean this off with some rubbing alcohol, get any oil off of it. I'll wet the inside of this with a water and paintbrush. Spread some Gorilla Glue out on here. Wet the stick and spread it out. Then carefully mount your PVC pipe in there and let the Gorilla Glue expand. So I've got a two inch hole saw, which I will drill into the center of the bucket. Then you can clean up the edges if they're ragged with a knife. So I took a two by four and drilled a two inch hole in it and then took a uh, three quarter inch uh, wood stock and drilled a, a hole, two inch hole in it. So this will go on top like this and then this one will go on the bottom and it'll sandwich the lid like this and hold it secure. Then I'll round the corners on this piece of wood that'll sit inside of the lid. Take some isopropyl alcohol, clean off the plastic on both sides. Wet the other block, then apply Gorilla Glue to the block, to both blocks. Spread the Gorilla Glue out as thin as you can get it. Take the other block and spread the Gorilla Glue out evenly. Tighten down the wood screws. So now you have your lid ready. Got the bottom screwed and glued on there. And we'll let this glue sit. So I cut this pipe at a 45 degree angle and now I'll rough this part up on a belt sander. Clean this with isopropyl alcohol and rag. Now apply Gorilla Glue to the pipe that I roughed up earlier. And I'll spread this out. Then I'll wet the inside of this with a paintbrush. Then I'll slide this exhaust pipe in there and let it sit. And there was a little uh, space in between the pipe and the side of the block, so I just shot some uh, Gorilla Glue down in there, and it'll expand out. So this is a trap adapter with a washer and plastic nut. The inside diameter is an inch and a half, and the inside diameter here is an inch and a quarter. And then the inch and a quarter hose fits in there, and that very secure in that. Then this little tube here is from another uh, shop vac that I had, so I just pulled it off the uh, old hose and slide it into this new hose, and this fitting can go on there. I may shorten this up a bit and then uh, use some PVC glue and glue these on there, but an inch and a quarter hose fits right in there. You can tighten down the nut. So this bucket head has a kind of a cloth filter in it and this filter gets plugged up relatively quickly with sawdust or drywall particulate and uh, 
See the bucket's empty. With this 45 degree angle cut on the suction side of the tube, I drew an arrow here so I can face it away from the intake <clears throat> so it's less likely to pick up particulates. Then you just push the lid on there. Push the suction hose in the intake. So I've got this pile of sawdust that I'm going to vacuum up. Got my vacuum cleaner hooked up to the top of the dust collector. I've got a light set behind the dust collector so you can see how the dust swirls around. So about the only stuff that made it into the filter was really, really fine stuff. But the majority, a little bit of sawdust, but the majority of it is in this bucket. I may add a baffle in here, I don't know. So about $30 in materials, the most expensive was this hose at $17. If you already have a vacuum hose from an old vacuum, it will significantly reduce the cost of this project. So for the cost of about $30 in an afternoon of cutting and gluing, you can make an inexpensive cyclonic dust collector.